In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to export your Illustrator file as a PDF for printing. Okay, so we're just going to come over here. I've gone in and just deleted out some of those other pieces that we had on the edges. You'll still have them in your previous lesson files, but just for 22 begin, um, I've taken them out. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that outer border layer, and let's just delete that. And we're just going to make sure that everything is all the way to those bleeds because that's important whenever you start printing this. You want to make sure that those bleeds are going to be all the way to the edge. So that looks good. Now let's go ahead and um, just in case, you know, this turtle here did have to use some of that bleed, we might want to have a shape there just kind of for his shell. So he's going to be right there on layer four, I believe. So let's just go ahead and select that layer and we'll just kind of draw a little shape that goes off the edge just right there that could be you know just seen as that shell so I'll go ahead and just make it that color and we'll come up here and send that to the back so you know very subtle and it only might show just that much but you we don't want him to look like he's missing his shell so that could be a mistake we didn't illustrate that just um, you know because we didn't think we'd need it but you never know that might come up so that's the reason why we have these bleeds in the first place so I'm gonna go ahead now and kind of just zoom back out here and this looks good so I'm ready to export this so we'll come up here to file go to save as and this is just going to take a moment to pop that up for us and right now we're just right inside of those illustrator files for all of our other pieces so that'll work for me for now this isn't this PDF isn't going to be included um, but you can save it out yourself I'm just showing you how to do it but I have to choose a location so right here where it says save as type we're gonna go ahead and change that to PDF instead of illustrator then we'll just go ahead and call it final Coral Infographic. Go ahead and say save. And that's just going to take a moment to give us this dialog. Now this is where um, we need to change some things. So automatically it's going to give you your Illustrator default. You want to change that to high quality print. Um, in most cases, it depends on where you're printing this at. So you want to find out what your printer settings are. This is what I would just use um, if I was just taking this, you know, to uh, just a pretty regular printer. Um, and then we'll come over here to marks and bleeds and go ahead and turn on trim marks. So basically what trim marks is going to do is it's going to give us a mark here on the outside edge on the other side of the bleed where we'll be able to see you know this is where the bleed is supposed to be cut off. So that way when it's being cut you know if it gets cut a little bit one way or the other you'll still have that edge. Um, and then we'll go ahead and say use document bleed settings because we've got those 0.25 um, inches there for the bleeds. And then we'll just hit save PDF and that'll take a little bit to process and it'll go ahead and save that for you. Okay, so now that's been saved, that file is there, and that is the file that you would want to take, you know, wherever you were going to have that printed. Um, you would want to make sure, since we linked to the photos, that you went ahead and had those photos where they could be um, accessed. So your links panel is just going to be right up here under Windows, Links, and you can see all of those are the ones that we've used so you would want to have those if you were taking them on a flash drive or something somewhere else to be printed um, just to make sure that they had those as well so in this lesson we learned how to export this as a PDF we also learned that we need to have those pictures in a location that can be linked to our poster since that's the way we use them and um, now we're pretty much finished we've finished up our infographic and um, thanks for sticking around all the way to the end. I hope that you learned a lot about how to create lots of these different kinds of shapes um, and really just how to organize this information in an interesting way. So good luck in, uh, in all your own personal infographic endeavors.